at the hotel. Anyway, 2015 was a year to remember for him, no doubt about it, the best year of his career by a mile. Reached his first major TV semi-final at the Grand Prix in Dublin in October. After that astonishing quarter-final win over Vincent van der Voort, he had runs to the last eight in the UK Open last year as well, and the world match play. And he put it about in Europe too. As I say, made the uh, semi-finals in Hildesheim and, and also First leg, Minton, in Sindelfingen. So it was a nice big end for him, start and beginning of the year in Europe. He was desperately unlucky against Peter Wright, by the way, in the semis in Sindelfingen. And also made the last four in Venray last month too, so he's got form this year as well. Yeah, five times he's made the semi-finals of these European Tour events, yet to make the final. Now then, James Wilson. Now, James Wilson, you were commentating on his game mm. against Marco Polis, weren't you? And he was having Pulse, darts. Yeah falling out the board left right and center and i was sat watching it in the players room with peter wright and he he, he was blaming the flights now these are weird flights that mm. james wilson's got yeah rod harrington picked up on the flights first of all but then it became it became hard to use that as a, as a reason rod was sat alongside me he suggested it might just be to do with the way that the tips may have been sanded off or something uh, and he, he couldn't quite put his finger on it because it was happening too often it was very for it just strange. to be the flights yeah. yeah it was very strange i mean the flights were coming out and it almost became a distraction for him he spent most of his time at the back of the stage putting flights back in okay he got over the line in the end he won 6-3 didn't hit a single 180 yesterday against marco pulse an average of 86.21 so he will have to step up a degree or two here. There was one notable checkout of 130 that was stylishly lead on, but... Yeah, won the match with it, didn't well, he? Well, yeah. Despite the fact his darts weren't going in at the right angle, somehow he managed to go 20 treble, 20 ball. Well, had he played Rene Adams, for example, he wouldn't have won. One at Rene 40! So he got lucky in that respect. Well, look, he got the win. That's the most important thing. You can see those flights there. They are curious. 57! Peter Wright suggested he put them in upside down. <laughs> it's almost like this campaign for Wilson, though, is, is, is very similar to the one he had in Mulheim at the end of last year. He beat Martin Schindler, again a German qualifier, in the first round and then had a tough-looking assignment in the second round. And In the end, he was beaten by Adrian Lewis 6-3. So he got 1,500 quid for his trouble in uh, Mulheim then. Took him double that amount by again reaching the last 32 of the UK Open earlier this year, as he did in 2015 as well, when he just uh, joined the PDC. Just a few weeks after he won his two-year membership, he uh, had a good run at the UK Open. He was back there earlier this month, and again got to the last 32, beaten by Kyle Anderson on both occasions. So he'll be glad that Kyle's not here this weekend. Mensor yeah. Slovich is. Game and Mensor Sulevic, look at the celebration Mensor there. Second leg, James, before he first. He acted like Game he's on. just won a Grand Prix semi-final, let alone the first leg of a second round match here at the German Darts Masters. Sulevic, though, off the mark. Oh, Case in point there. Again. One hundred and forty. They are big flights, though, so if he does clatter into them, it can take the, the pace off the dart, and by the time the point reaches the board, it... Might not have enough momentum mm. to stick in there, perhaps, but look, we'll see. If that's just wow. a one-off, then it'll be okay. But if it keeps happening at the with the frequency that it did in his previous game, then I mean, it's it's going to be like having to play Mensor, but Mensor giving a head start wow. every leg, and not many people will win games against Mensor nowadays if you give him a head start. Well, at one point he was like, on average, losing about 60 points over every two legs. It was. You know, it was costly. 68. Now, Mensor there with his uh, dark shirt with Mensor written across the back of it. He's got another one with The Gentle, his nickname, and a small child in the practice room. I believe must have been Mensor's son. I believe because he had exactly the same shirt on, but with the gentle junior <laughs> written across the back and there's a first maximum it's 
Rafa, I will look into getting one for you, Rob. Thank you. 56. Not, not a child size one, I hope. Get what you give them. <laughs> Beggars could not be choosers. Well, the 153 is not going to go. James Wilson is on 136. Now it's gettable, but he's going to need two treble twenties for a shot at double eight. And Mensor is very handily placed because you know what he's left. Yeah, 54. So that gives him two darts. And the 136 is not going. So two darts, a double. For Mensor Sulevich for a break of throw and a 2 0 lead as they fight it out for a place in the last 16. Michael Smith awaits. He saw off Jeffrey de Graaf earlier on in a battle of a second round match. Surely 2 13s and double 14 here for wow. Mensor. He's not going to go straight for it, is he? I mean, come on. Uh, he's avoided the double 14. He will leave it at every available opportunity. Game That's right next to it, so he should be quite good at it. Yeah. I saw him practicing earlier on, and literally all he was doing was throwing at double 14. Yeah, it was on I mean, at the World Grand Prix where he, he did really well. That just that his brilliant. starting rate it was just frightening on double 14. Yeah. It, was, it was almost like a gimme for him. He was hitting it 80% of the time. It was absolutely ridiculous. It's a, it's a great weapon to have in a in that format and it served him really well Wilson here One needs to just give himself something to work with I believe that is Nissi's mentor and the gentle junior. Frau Sulovic. Packed hall here at the ball house for him in Munich. As it has been all the way through this tournament and will be until its conclusion tomorrow night. And not a single one of them understands James Wilson's nickname of the Jammy Dodger. Don't know it's a biscuit. Those that do know it's a biscuit don't understand why he's named after a biscuit. Doesn't matter. 92. Let's see a requirement. Former BDO world number one. 140 left for Mensor. He's going to get six darts at it if he needs them. Which he will. One. Yeah, take a ton. He is one of darts, well, I think, the biggest enigma in darts, Mensur. The biggest enigma in darts, yeah, you say? A, I, I urge you to uh, take five minutes of your day whenever you can to have a look at the uh, article on tungstentickle.com. Superb piece. I've read it before, just having another look at it, just to see if there are details of his son's name. He is a former world champion, albeit in the soft tip format. Game show and he's perfect. playing like a world beater at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff here for the men's Game on. Now then, James Wilson. And then 77. Still not hit a 180 this weekend, but a 177 will do very nicely. Well, he's halfway there, Sulevich, and he's halfway to setting up a meeting with Michael Smith. We talked about the history between Smith and Sulevich uh, during Michael Smith's narrow, narrow win earlier this evening over Jeffrey de Graff. Smith taking exception, exception wow. even to Sulevich's slow overreach, shall we say, in, uh, in his style of play. Tough. Unfortunately, well, that's the point that Rod Harrington made, and it's also <laughs> a point that I tried to make to uh, Michael when I interviewed him at the Players' Championship. He said, it, "I said to him, you know, there's nothing in the rule book about it." And Smith said, "Well, there should be." <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a stunt. I, I took issue with that, of course. Okay. Nine, I'm surprised he didn't. But if somebody's played slow all their lives, you can't suddenly say, "Right, men, so uh, you know, you've got to speed it up." 
It doesn't matter. Look, Mensur, you know, Gary Anderson's another one who's had his problems facing Mensur. He got beaten in the world match play and came off and said, I just could not handle it. He admitted it. He's just world champion. Could not handle being forced to wait a little bit longer. Now, we have seen rather extreme examples of Mensur slowing things down, and he didn't need to go for this route, James Wilson. He could have just pounded the treble 20. But in the end, he set it up quite nicely, and he's left the Mensur. So, Mensor will see if he can put a bit of pressure on this, but Wilson has got to take this out, you'd think. He can't afford to go two breaks down and 4-0 down here. Yeah. But that were 14. To Mensor Suljevic. Oh, double seven. Ooh, just a pause. Mensor was looking there as if to say, I'll show you how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Step aside, James. This is how you do it. Double Full seven season. isn't taken out, so Sulovic has a route back into this Issue fourth leg. 83. Uh, Sulovic beat uh, Smith, by the way, in the third round in, Ven in Venray last month, so they could well meet again in the third round here in Munich. Smith was battered by Sulovic as well in minor. Now is it tops tops? It is, you know. It wasn't the perfect place for that draft to be. If it was just higher in the bed, it might have been a little bit easier, but James Wilson, this is no gimme. Double seven. Ah, uh, he split it. So two at double four. Game and he only needs the one. Play. That nearly came out James as well. Wilson, yeah. Fifth leg mints in the throw first. Came out. So a missed dart at tops for a 4-0 lead is punished. Wilson is off the mark, no great damage done, it was on the Wilson's throw anyway. Sulovic still in a very good position, he's a break-up. The world champion's on stage next, by the way. Talking of world beaters, as we were. Yes, I come from the track. When Gary Anderson lost to Mensor at the match play and he came off stage saying, oh, I could not handle it, and he admitted Mensor wasn't even doing what he was doing against Michael Van Gerwen at the European Tour. 25. And that's another one that's fallen on the floor there. Yeah. yeah. Mensor played Van Gerwen and there was Argy Bargy. He was standing at the hockey and then going off to get a drink before throwing his next dart. There was all sorts going on. But Mensur insists it's only about him playing his best darts. That's what he's doing. He doesn't care about anybody else. It's not about like putting them off. It's about getting the best out of himself. One German crowd thoroughly delighted with themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, that little rendition of Hey Baby. Giving themselves a round of applause. As well, they might have been terrific, the crowd today and yesterday. Another sellout. Oh, hang on. What is going on here? Is that touching? 14. It doesn't really matter if it is, because it's only 12 points anyway, but it wasn't touching. Well, That's a trick shot, but, I mean, he's got a wry smile on his face, but there's clearly a big problem here. Well, there'll be an even bigger problem for him here. If Anton takes this out, he will come back. I've never seen that. There's a lot of talk about these flights, and that one he's managed to jam the fly under the five number <laughs> and have it dangling free from the ball. That's wow. over the 12. Let's you require a trick shot. Well, the upshot is double 16 for Mensor gives him a 4 1 lead. We'll have to call that the Jammy Dodger now. That's it. There we go. It's Got no a shot it's... named after you. Game shot on the fifth leg. And it is so 4 1. It's it's pointing the way. Came gesturing on. to his camp over on the left-hand side of the stage. And the gentle is being a little bit brutal here with James Wilson. 45. He's not even hit double 14 yet. No. Saving that for the next round. And Wilson needs to get out the blocks. Better than that, 45. Solovic not really punishing him so far. 16. This is the only... European Tour event that James Wilson has qualified for the start of this year didn't make Van Ray. he's not qualified for the third and fourth ones coming up in Gibraltar 16. and again we're back in Germany a few weeks after that so it is an opportunity for him but it's also 96. one that perhaps he might need to take because with the European Championship 
qualification based solely on the results in these European Tour events. You've got to get to them. You've got to do well. If you want to be at one of the biggest tournaments of the year. Yeah, it's a good idea that. That really does get my seal of approval. Well, I like that. I'm sure Mr. Hearn is delighted that he's got the Backing. gilding thumb from Rob Malarkey. Absolutely. One hundred and thirty-nine. And a first one eighty of the weekend for James Wilson. Yeah, it's been a long time coming. The sixth leg of this match. Played nine yesterday without one. 45. No, oh, just the 45. He is down to the finish, Mensor, but he's a big one. So 20 for tops. Oh, well, tops double 10. Ooh. 58. Mets, you require 161. This would be a killer. No. Mm. Grinis for the big Austrian. 105. James require 20. So to get two within Keep two again of Sulevich. James Wilson, seventh leg. Another hole. Game on. But Sulevich still in a very good position and getting closer all the time. Gary Anderson against Daryl Gurney, the latest instalment of their ongoing encounters mm. coming up after this one. Then Benito van der Pass and Devon Peterson take to the stage before Rene Idems, the only German left in the German Darts Masters, tries to topple the world number one Michael van Gogh in a repeat of their world championship first round game, which looks like it was going to be a procession and in the end turned out to be a thriller it was an epic that's wobbling as well are you staying that well, I'm right. Right. Oh, he's got a chance here james he wilson because if he is to break in this leg it is just one break throw yeah. it's four apiece would then have to break again still yes he would One hundred and thirty-seven. but it's a step in the right direction, and he's just putting himself in the frame here. Oh, Another one of those. Is he going to fill it up? Yes, he is. James Wilson, a new lease of life here for the 44-year-old from Huddersfield. And all of a sudden, Mensor's got plenty to think about here. But Mensor looking to just volley it straight back over. Wow. Brilliant, absolutely darts. brilliant from Sulevich. Wilson here looks to be in a very good position. All of a sudden, there's a lot on this. That's nice. Double 18 E1. Game so James Wilson, Wilson, that's superb. James there was an awful amount on that one. James, the with Sulevich having put himself Game in a really good position to take that one. But Wilson has the break. And we are effectively on throw once more. Wow, this is the kind of darts that Wilson was throwing when he went on to win the World Trophy. Zyderdown Masters, finalist at the World Masters as well. He was number two in the BDO system, and then Stephen Bunting went to join the PDC, and that made him number one. We know he can play. He's found it a little bit tricky at times on the PDC circuit, but... Oh, he's motoring. What a motoring. Right 11 darter. Follows it up with back-to-back -to -back ton 40s in this leg. Looking pretty good to level the match for the first time since the start. Remember, Mensur Sulevich had a dart. One dart for a 4-nil lead. Yeah, that missed dart at tops, which... enabled Wilson to reduce the arrears to 3-1. 95. That dart in the 18 looked precarious as well. Yeah, it doesn't give you a great deal of confidence the way his darts are sitting in the board. It feels like they're going to fall out at any moment. James require oh, stand. I mean, James Wilson's averaging more than 97 at the minute. He's a decent display, and he's going to get a dart. Well, is he going to go for it? Yes, Ooh. he was. 81. Went for the bullseye. 
didn't need to, but hitting the five could be worse because he's got his pick of doubles to go for. He should get two darts at it. Well, likes the double 18, doesn't he? James required well, 45. hit it in the last leg. Let's see which way he goes. No. It's double 16. 13. Now then. It's you required Treble 20. 48. Treble 20. Guess what? Mental. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, you can't have felt if that Did had gone in. It was just going to go. As well. James will require 32. Oh, Mensur knows that was a great opportunity to bounce back. Wilson, three goes at double 16. Oh, he needs the one of them. James Wilson and having trailed 4-1, Wilson now level at four apiece. Well, look, Mensur does have that security of throwing first in two of the remaining three legs. But James Wilson, wow. having won three on the spin, there's so little between them in the averages, in the checkout percentages. Wow. Wow. 95 plays, well, nearly 96 plays, nearly, well, it's ch ch changing all the time. It's pretty much the same. And they are both four out of 11 on the doubles. So it's anybody's game, and the most important dart in this match may turn out to be the one that won the ball at the start. 60. Just the 60. And the Mensor chalking himself up. The champion weightlifter. Familiar jiggle of the dart in his hand. An awkward but very effective throw. What? Opportunity for Wilson. Can he jump on it? Ooh. James Wilson might be about to pull this out of the fire. You know. Very nearly 4 0 down to Mensor Sulevich, a five time European Tour semi finalist and a man who had, well, as, as you called it, the, the best year of his career by an absolute street last year. Seems to be carrying that on James into 2016. But James Wilson has got six darts from 161 for a break of throw to go into the lead for the first time in the match, and he would only need one more leg. Oh, unlucky. Still in a very good position, though. Double 12. Sulovic can just put some pressure on here. That's all he can do. Hmm. James will require 24. Wow. Nervy times for Mensor fans as Wilson looks at double 12. Now he looks at double 6 to go into the lead for the first time. That's right on the edge. And that James is right Charlotte in the middle. And Wilson, Wilson does lead for the first time in the Take match. 5-4. And this is a rather dramatic comeback from the Yorkshireman. And I refer you to Rod Harrington's predictor sheet. <laughs> it's suddenly looking very, very good indeed. He got Peter Wright, Stephen Bunting bang on the money, and he also predicted for this match a 6 4 win for James Wilson. Well, well, well. 95. Not over yet. Wilson needs to close it out. You know how dangerous Mensur is. He may have to find a 12 darter in this leg. 105. It's a bit of a blocker, but he finds his way into the treble bed. And wow. again. And again. Did wow. not, I did not think there was room for another one on that side, but Wilson found it. Well, Sulevich could do with one right in the middle of those two. Oh, and that's exactly wow. what he's done. Right. Don't write him off just yet. Time and again, when Mensur Silovic has been put under pressure, he has responded, particularly on the European Tour stage. Oh, he needed that last treble as well, Wilson. But he's not. He's poor count in there. He's left himself one course, six six. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right. Fifty, the deficit. Fifty-eight. Mm, well, you see, if he just hit the treble there, leaving him Shanghai, massive difference. James Wilson is probably 
going to come back and have another visit. And he's left himself marvellously placed. That's, that's better approach play, isn't it? From uh, Wilson Sulovic. Well, he's staring down a barrel here. Absolutely astonishing, given he was leading by four legs to one. Could have been leading 4-0 as well. That would have been game over, but Wilson has staged an incredible fight back here. 116. He survived James a dart from Mensor 32. that would have put the big Austrian 4-0 up. But somehow, James Wilson has grabbed control of this game Gensha. and storms and back James to claim Wilson. victory. A 6-4 win for Wilson. And he's into the last 16 of a European Tour event for the first time. He knocks out the 15th seed, Mensur Suljevic, and will now take on the number two seed, Michael Smith, tomorrow. And who knows, if he plays like that, a 97 average, and showing incredible guts and determination to come from way, way behind against a fancied opponent. And James Wilson could be on the verge of something James special. Wilson. We've got something special for you tonight, though. Gary Anderson, the world champion, coming up against Daryl Gurney, and that's before we even get James. to the world number one, Michael Van Gurney.